guys, I'm very excited for another episode of the show about science. This is your host, Nate. And today we're going to be going to a very special place in Chicago. I'll give you a hint. It's about butterflies. So, Dad, let's get in the car and drive. Hello, and so today I am a guest scientist here at the Peggy Noble Nature Museum. And right now we are in the Butterfly Haven. This is like the coolest event and that has ever happened to me. I'm just eagerly waiting for a butterfly to land on my finger. I am basically seeing all different kinds of butterflies, but very few monarchs, surprisingly. Very few monarchs. So weird. As a guest scientist, I had to answer some pretty hard questions. So, um, is anyone here a butterfly expert? Yeah, you? Yeah? Can anyone tell me the life cycle of a butterfly? What does it start out as? Yes. Well, it basically starts out as an egg. Then it goes to a caterpillar, then a chrysalis, then it emerges as an adult butterfly. Yes, you're But I also had some tough questions of my own. Okay, so what's the oldest living species that you have here? Well, I'm going to interpret that question like, what's the longest living butterfly, right? This is Juliana. She volunteers at the Peggy Note Bar Nature Museum. So I would have to say probably the monarch because they can live for about six months because they have to migrate all the way down to Mexico. So that they have to live a long time in order to do that, right? Yeah. But we don't have any monarchs in here because we'd rather have them outside because they're native to Illinois. Yeah, though I guess I saw one that was trying to mimic the monarch, like right over there, because monarchs are poisonous. It wants to pretend that it's poisonous. Yeah, you're exactly right. I also wanted to learn something about the other people visiting the museum. So, how do you like this butterfly exhibit? Um, it's really good. I, I think it, it's really pretty and there are a lot of butterflies in it. What's your favorite butterfly in this room? My favorite butterfly in this room is the big blue butterfly, blue and black butterfly. And what's your name? Lily. Thank you, Lily. Okay, so what's your favorite butterfly here? That big blue one, I don't know what it's called. It's called the um, blue and white long wing. And what's your name? Melissa. Hi, I'm Nate, what's your name? I'm Matthew. So which butterfly is your favorite butterfly here? I'm a, a zebra long wing. Okay, so if you didn't hear, he said the zebra long wing. These two. Well, thank you for er, having this interview with me. Can you say you're welcome? You're welcome. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Sue. So, what's your favorite thing in this exhibit? Today it was meeting you actually, seeing you taking videos of the butterflies. So, and how do you rate this exhibit? How do I rate it? A hundred. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this exhibit is so awesome. I agree. But my favorite part of the day was when they released the new butterflies into the haven. Okay, I'm like getting really anxious now because these are beautiful butterflies. So I think if we're gonna release them now, but I think they need a countdown. What do you think? 
Yeah? Can we count down from 500? No. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Let's, talk, let's count to three, because some we have some younger kids in here. Let's count to three. Are you ready? Ready? One, two, three. Yali! And time for part two, my interview with Doug Tarrant. Doug, can you introduce yourself? I am the chief curator at the Chicago Academy of Sciences. And one of the things that I do is I help to run the butterfly exhibit here. And I also do research on conservation of endangered species of butterflies. So... Why aren't there any monarchs in the butterfly haven? I mean, can you get some monarchs in the butterfly haven? We can get monarchs in the butterfly haven. We're not currently working with people who supply monarchs. I think that monarchs at this point are probably better outside than inside of the haven. So why are they better outside? Well, because inside of the butterfly haven, we can't let the monarchs have babies. Anything that goes into butterfly haven, uh, those monarchs will just die in the exhibit and they won't create any new monarchs outside uh, to help keep the population up. Oh, now I see. So where does the um, blue and black butterfly come from because I interviewed some people earlier. Most of their favorite butterfly was the um, blue and black one. The blue and black one. We have a couple of blue and black butterflies and they come from different places. If you're seeing um, a blue and black butterfly with tails on the wings, That one's called the Ulysses Swallowtail, and that's from Australia. And um, most of the blue butterflies that we've got in the exhibit are um, morpho butterflies. Yeah, morpho butterflies. I'm talking about the um, morpho butterflies from Costa Rica and Colombia. Right, okay. So the morphos are, are, uh, they're actually from South America, but Costa Rica and Colombia are where we get ours. And... Why are there birds in the butterfly haven? Uh, There are different kinds of birds in the butterfly haven. Um, You might have seen the little quail running around on the ground in the planting beds. And the quail are there to help control ants. We have a problem with ants in the butterfly exhibit. And the quail do two things. They eat the ants and they eat dead butterflies. And dead butterflies are ant magnets. So... By getting rid of the dead butterflies, we're uh, getting rid of ant food. So, why are the ants pests? The ants are pests because they get all over the place. When they get really bad, they can actually damage the electrical lines that we've got in the haven, and we've had problems with that in the past. So, why is there a turtle in the butterfly haven? The reason there's a turtle in the butterfly haven is because that turtle was a pet that was abandoned at the museum, which is something we wish people wouldn't do. We wish people would not abandon pets at the museum, but we needed to give the turtle a home, and so that was uh, the best place for it to live. So why do they have all different types of butterflies in the butterfly haven. Well, we have lots of different species of butterflies in the haven so that our visitors can learn about many, many different kinds of butterflies from around the world. And our visitors can learn what butterflies from different parts of the world look like and just how beautiful they are. And what is a proboscis? Ah, the proboscis is how the butterfly eats. So if you look very carefully at a butterfly sitting on a tray with the fruit in it, you will see that it 
has a coiled tongue that it uncoils and sticks down into uh, the fruit. And it's like the straw that the butterfly is sticking into the fruit, and it sucks up the liquid through that. Uh Uh-huh. So, where do the butterflies like to hang out the most? That depends on what kind of butterfly they are. So some types of butterflies, like the big owl butterflies with the big yellow spot on the wing, they like to hang out on the fruit, and that's where you'll see them. But other types of butterflies like hanging out near some of the flowers. And uh, a lot of the swallowtail butterflies you'll see fluttering around some of our flowers and drinking nectar from them. Why aren't some of the butterflies released when all the butterflies are supposed to be released into the butterfly haven. Okay, so you probably, when you were leaving, saw butterflies sitting in the chrysalis case and not in the haven. And what's happened there is that the chrysalises in the case are what we buy from butterfly farms all around the world. And when they come in the mail, we hang them up in that case. And they stay there until the adult butterflies come out. So sometimes you'll see butterflies that have come out in the case that we just haven't moved into the haven yet. But anything that you saw in that case would be moving out to the haven very soon. Okay, so by now they're like in the haven. That's right. Anything that you saw when you visited by now is in the haven. Okay. Um, Doug, if people want to see the butterflies in person, where can they do it? Butterfly Haven is at the Peggy Notabart Nature Museum at Cannon and Fullerton in Chicago, and we're open daily from 9 to 5. Thank you for being on this episode. Oh, I'm very happy to be on this episode. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Special thanks to Lily Matthew... Sue, Melissa, and Juliana for letting me interview them. And a big, big, big shout out to Jeff and Teresa Brooks for all the amazing music in this episode. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening.